good afternoon everybody. This is David Littlejohn and it is May 26th. It's just after 3 p.m. Markets are closed. Three day weekend. Woohoo! So markets will be closed on Monday as well. And uh, first and foremost, what's the most important thing? To all of our veterans and those that have fought for this country, thank you. Uh, the next thing is strong finish. Look, the S&P finished above 2100. In fact, uh, 20, I'm sorry, 2400. So 2415 for the S&P 500, just shy of 21,000 on the Dow and over 6200 for the NASDAQ. So the indexes are going strong. Uh, what are a couple of the key takeaways for the week? Uh, one, today we got g gross domestic product came out for the first quarter of this year. It was a little weak at 1.2%. Uh, the Trump administration is shooting for 3%, and under the uh, Obama regime, it was closer to an average of 2%. So probably a little bit ambitious. Coming in at 1.2 does not exactly get everybody excited, except that it was higher than expected. So we'll take the good with the bad. Anyway, we're trending in the right direction. The market seemed to be okay with it. The other thing that's very interesting to me is we seem to be developing what I will call headline fatigue. Since all news out of Washington, D.C. appears to be lousy these days, the markets have finally started to do this. Who cares? Right? They're basically saying, let's look at the data. We're not so worried about Washington, D.C. until we see actual policy change. Yeah, see? Even that agrees until you see actual policy change, we just go with the data we've got. So that's the deal. And what that tells me is so far so good. Our signals are still looking pretty good. All of our macroeconomic indicators are in line. And again, 2400 was a big deal because last week we saw the S&P 500 go down, test its 50 day moving average and bounce back up. So good signs. So anyway, all things to feel a little bit better about. And as we get into the summertime, the other thing we can feel good about is, hey, I'm looking outside and you know what I see? Blue sky. So let's keep our fingers crossed for a nice weekend. Everybody stay safe out there and we will catch you same time next week. Thanks, everyone.